let me give you a scenario now imagine a scenario where a working woman has got has gotten married and after marriage she has to move from one place to another place now the place from where she was employed to a place where she has to find a new job is the female after her migration from one place to another place from the old place where she was employed to the new place after marriage where she will be settling now the question which arises is is the woman coming back into the labor force will the woman join the workforce again there is a huge question mark on this and that is what is called the internal migration of female in india and that is what we will be looking today hello and welcome to the in focus series section of drishti ias i am aisha singh and in today's video we will be talking about the internal migration of women with regard to the plfs data that is the periodic labor force data so let's begin points of discussion would be first of all about the news then what are the reasons for migration for women then what are the findings with regard to the plfs data situation after the covid 19 pandemic what are the steps that need that needs to correct the situation and in the end a prelims practice question topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is economy and labor participation so let's begin the news talks about a blurred mapping of internal female migration important word is internal female migration and over the years we have seen that upsc is very fond of asking questions which affects the economy and especially from the women aspect and migration is also one of the one of the favorite topics that is asked in the examination so internal female migration migration means like imagine this is one place this is another place now imagine that the female is moving from this place to this place and migration movement from one place to another place and migration has many factors also there is a push factor and there is a pull factor we will not be going into the details of migration we will stick ourselves to the internal female migration so i'm just telling you the meaning of migration one place to another place and there can be many many reasons for migration internal female migration now we are clear with migration female migration means that women are associated with it it is about female movement from one place to another place internal internal means that within the country now what is the internal female migration how is it affecting the female labor force participation and in india if we compare to the other nations are or around the globe the female participation the female labor force participation is already very low if we talk about the female labor force participation in india then it is always in a bracket from you can say that 18% to 25 to 26% and if we talk about from the perspective of rural pa women participation in labor force and urban women participation in labor force so rural women participation in labor force is always it always higher than the urban labor force participation according to the plfs data of the year 2021 22 so the rural participation female is more than 35% while the urban participation is much lesser than that it is around 22 to 25% and the problem is that women in our country is not much a part of the formal sector now this is one of the biggest problems that we see in our country that when we talk about the formal sector the women participation is not much women participation is high in the informal sector or the family businesses and especially if we talk about the rural economy then the women labor force participation is very high in agriculture and and in agriculture the disguised unemployment situation is very high that of a uh, many members of one family is working on a at a place where those much people are not even required so this is the rough idea which i have given you about the labor force participation and when we talk about the periodic labor force survey then periodic labor force survey looks into the aspect of employment and unemployment at a given period of time so let's begin
the periodic labor force survey that is plfs it talk it gives the idea of the employment and the unemployment in our country and today we will be focusing basically on the female involvement in the labor force participation so the internal migration is a crucial form of physical and social transaction in india internal migration it means movement within india you can say from one state to another state and it is estimated to be 27% from june 2020 to 2021 27% and it is talking specifically from the aspect of female migration and women especially for working age comprise a greater share of the migrant pool and when we talk about working age then we are basically talking about till the age of 59 till the age of 59 so imagine people who have passed from their standard 12th or who have graduated and till the age of 59 and the women who are into the workforce they are a, they sh, they are a large share of pool where the migration is happening and this is also the age where majority of the females are getting married also and marriage is one of the biggest factor of migration for women concern given india's falling female labor force participation rate and this internal migration point becomes important to discuss because even though the literacy rate of women in india is increasing but that is not going proportional with the labor force participation of women in india it is becoming inversely proportional even though girls are getting education in school but when we are talking about that are those females coming into the workforce are those whom females working into the workforce then the answer is no because the labor force participation rate in india is not increasing now let's talk about the reasons for migration so the reasons for internal migration for females according to the periodic labor force data or survey talks about reasons first of all marriage 81 percent of females migrate from one place to another place after marriage and after marriage because many a times we have seen many not most of the times we have seen that after marriage female is moving from one city to another city or one state to another state then marriage is 81 percent is followed by the migration of family members that is 10 percent like in the case of transfer like in the case of people getting retired and etc then for the purpose of employment that is for working the percentage is 2.42 percent marriage is 81 percent migration of family members is 10 percent and employment is mere 2.42 percent now imagine that in a country which has 140 crore population a country which is considered to be one of the fastest growing economy a country which which in future will be becoming the third biggest economy in this the woman the female of the country with regard to the employment aspect the migration is just 2.42% and migration for education opportunities is not even 1%, it is 0.48%. So, the reasons for migration for women is marriage 81%, migration of family members 10%, employment 2.42%, and migration for education opportunities is 0.48%. And there is no provision to know the secondary regions or motivations, like for example, the climate shocks and the food insecurity so these kind of points which is considered not the primary regions but are the secondary regions they are not even discussed in the plfs data like the climate shocks and the food insecurity so the climate change and movement of people because of the climate change is one of the most burning issue and in the coming times it will 
become even more evident and prominent while if we talk about the food insecurity is issue and the displacement issue so if we will look at the global politics as of now then the russia ukraine issue people have to migrate from one place to another place not because they want to migrate but they have to migrate then the israel hamas war which is going on so people have to move from one place to another place and food insecurity can be one of the biggest reasons so this these are few of the reasons for migrations now let's talk about the findings of the plfs survey so around 3 quarter of migrant women are unemployed so it has been seen that if a woman migrates from one place to another place and the first place where she was working and now she moves moves to a new place and then there are very less chances that the female finds work again that the female finds job again that the female is working again it is not the proportion is not very high that after migration women comes back to the labor force so three quarter of migrant women are unemployed migrant women means that after they have moved from one place to another place three quarter are unemployed then 14% of migrant women are in self and wage employed jobs 14% self or wage employed jobs majority of them they do not even come into the counting of the employed females then 12% are in casual labor and casual labor is not casual labor is not registered and it is not even counted then if we talk about the employment aspect then casual or informal such as agriculture construction and domestic help so these are the sectors where a bigger chunk of the women are employed and that is agriculture as we discussed that agriculture is one of the biggest biggest source of income for women in rural economy and construction and domestic help in urban economy then women choose forms of employment that allow them to handle their domestic duties now this is one of the most major aspect for women coming out of the workforce that and even if they are eligible to be a part of workforce they do not and they try and opt for the work which help them and which they can do easily with regard to handling their domestic duties also they are able to they are able to handle their family also then work as unpaid family workers in household enterprises or being self employed so there are so many women in our country who do not come under the uh, under the employed women section because they are self employed they work in the house household businesses so they are not registered or they do not come into the category of formal employment and they do not even come into the category of the workforce participation then plfs data 85% of the women have less than 10 years of education now this is also one of the points that because of which the formal sector employment women participation is low then migrant women are proportionally less employed than the non migrant women because the non migrant women are staying at their own place so they develop this circle also the social circle which many a times help them to find employment lack of social network especially after they migrate and they are not able to find new jobs which suits their conditions and need for more human and social capital now situation after covid pandemic so according to the yale university after the covid 19 induced lockdown 55% of women have never returned they have never returned to their places of employment and those who did so earned only 56% of their pre pandemic income levels so before pandemic there were more females into the workforce after pandemic the number of females into the workforce has lower down and if we go by the yale university study then 55% of women never returned to their work and even though the pe the females who have returned back to the work are receiving much less pay as compared to the pre covid times and then 
if we talk about an aspect then the female migration for labor employment has increased by 101 percent between 2001 and 2011 so if we talk about the the decade where the female participation into the workforce has really increased and has done very nice and so that is between the year 2001 to 2011 now what are the steps that are needed to be taken so that the internal migration of women does not hamper their work participation so approximately 7% have access to social security benefits so social security benefits needs to be increased and they should be given to the females or to the workforce so that they are more they feel more motivated to come into the workforce then increased collection of female specific data now as of now the data specific to migration and female internal migration is very low so we need to up, update ourselves and the data needs to be more and the authentic data needs to be collected then the increased collection of migrant female specific data as i just said progressive policy making so for progressive policy making can be like work from home jobs flexible timing jobs roster can be made and like if uh, if the female becomes a mother and majority of the female also leave their job after after they give birth to their babies so with crutch facilities can in motivate females to come back to the workforce and then caregivers can also be provided now according to the international labor organization five r framework for care economy care economy means the economy which the females which are working but they are not included in the category of the workforce so the five r is recognize measure and recognize the value of unpaid work unpaid work like for example what our mothers does at home so these are unpaid work but they are working and they are working 24 7 then represent the most marginalized caregivers and ensure they have a voice reduce the overall time spent on unpaid work reward ensuring decent work for all care workers and then redistribute the share of unpaid work done by women within household and household work is basically the unpaid work and the unrecognized work also so in the end of prelims mcq any people need to tell me the answer in the comment section it is a pyq of the year 2017 which of the following gives the global gender gap index ranking to the countries of the world world economic forum un human rights council un women world health organization i think you will be able to do this very easily so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications